Welcome guys to Best of Thing and today I'll be with you in a new tutorial. So always this is our slogan. We are smart computer easily and this is our logo for sure. So catch you in the tutorial guys. Bye bye. So what's up YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to create a file copier in Visual Studio 2008. So create your project and actually we're going to need two labels and two text boxes. And two button and three oops three buttons. This is the path label. This is the um, destination label. And these are the browse buttons. And this is the um, copy button. We also need an open file dialog and a save file dialog. We're just going to clear the file name here. And then double click on the browse for the path. Um, button and we'll type open file dialog one to show dialog as we want the um, selected um, file to appear in this text box so we are going to double click on the open file dialog and type text box one the text equals open file dialog one the file name after this we're going to double click on the um, browse button for the destination and, and type save file dialog one the show dialog and the next step is that we want also the um, save um, file path to appear here in this text box so we're going to double click on the save file dialog one and type text box to the text equals save file dialog one the file name actually we're going to have a look on our program right now so if we browse for file suppose this here is the path and here the destination so actually we're going to need to add some codes for the filter here to um, uh, put the filter uh, for the file this is compressed zip folder so it's going to be dot zip and the file name here we want it to appear as this one so so um to do this um we'll have to double click on the browse button for the destination and before this code we're going to type save file dialog one dot file name equals open file dialog one dot save file name so um let's see yes here yeah and actually we're going to create a filter as I mentioned so we're going to double click also here and we're going to type the filter code so first of all we're, we, we need the code to get the extension of the selected file 
so we're going to type here gem ext which stands for extension as string ext equals open file dialog one the file name dot substring open file dialog one dot file name dot last index of dot because you know the last um, dot character um, is followed by the file extension so we want the string which um, is beginning or starting with the last dot so um, this code will get the extension of the file um, with the dot so um, actually after this we're going to type the um, filter code save file dialog one dot filter dot filter equals and between two quotations we're going to type selected format and then yeah then we're going to put this sign and the asterisk and then after the quotation we're going to make and and type ext so let's have a look here's the selective format which is dot ZIP. So if we want to display also selected format and between two brackets dot ZIP, we this is pretty easy also. Here exactly, we will close the quotation, put and, and then another one, and type here ext and so as you see here oops we should add a bracket so let's have a look yeah as you see here so um actually the next step is the um the code for the copy operation and this is pretty easy we're going to double click on copy and type my computer file system copy file and here we're going to type the path of the file the source file name which is in the text box oops text box one the text and then the destination path which is in text box to the text so that's it guys let's have a look on it test and save copy yeah so as you see here this is a copy for the file so that's it guys um thanks for watching